Dana Perez wants to know, how did you meet Heel Wife for the first time? Uh, I met Heel Wife when she was still Heel Girlfriend, uh, a number of years ago, uh, at some party we were going to where it was me and Grim and a couple of other of our friends, uh, and I really don't have a whole lot of recollections of that because my memory's not great, but yeah. Amanda Loudon wants to know how many games do you have? Um, I'm gonna give you a rough estimate. Uh, as far as physical box versions of games, like actual physical games, uh, somewhere around 330-ish. I'm not entirely sure on that. I've been doing some eBaying this past month, so that n number has been kind of uh, fluctuating. In terms of digital games, and that is Steam, that is good old games, that is Origin, that is Uplay, that is Desora. Uh, you're looking at like 550, 60... Something like that. It changes, you know, month to month. But yeah, a lot. A whole fucking lot. Steven Gomez wants to know, how did you meet Grimm? I get this question a lot, uh, and my answer is that we met back in... I was in middle school, I believe, and I knew his younger brother. Vic Cummins 99 wants to know, how tall are you? I am around 5 foot 7 or so. I'm not very tall. Unstable Sean wants to know, if you could make your own video game, what would it be about? Uh, I would like to see more games in the vein of something like Disaster Report, where it is a survival game without the horror stuff. I think that could potentially be super interesting uh, if more developers actually wanted to go down that path. I played through I Am Alive, uh, which is kind of a similar genre, but it had too much gun stuff. Like, I want not combat stuff. I want actual, like, you know, platforming and, es and like, escape situations and that kind of stuff. And it bums me out that this, that Disaster Report 4 never happened. It was almost done. They, they almost finished it, uh, but it never happened due to uh, extenuating circumstances. Here's a question from Daniel Vega, who wants to know, Are you missing any consoles? Hell yeah, I'm missing consoles. I don't have an NES. I don't have a Genesis. I don't have a Sega CD. I don't have an Atari Jaguar. I don't have a Game Gear. I don't have a Lynx. There's tons and tons of consoles that I do not own. Uh, and honestly, if you look in here, I don't fucking have any room for them. But yeah, that's I'm always on, on, on the lookout for things that I might want to pick up at some point down the line. But right now, I just, like, having to fit in the Xbox One in here was a fucking nightmare. So, yeah, I'm, I'm missing consoles. But mostly old stuff. Like, anything recent, I, I pretty much pre pretty much have it. But old stuff, not so much. Question from some ordinary bro who wants to know how did you get the name Attack Slug? Uh, Attack Slug is one of the enemies in the first dungeon in the game Earthbound, uh, which is my favorite game of all time. And why is your intro-outro music cool? Uh, I like hip-hop, and if I, if I find a good beat that I think is interesting, uh, I will certainly go and just grab it and use it. Robin Winzinger wants to know, will you play Nova 3 in your next gameplay video? I currently do not have a way to output my mobile phone to an HDMI hookup. I have not bought that attachment, it's like 50 bucks. If there was a lot of games on Android that were worth uh, doing capture of, uh, I would consider it. But right now, I don't think the videos I would do would make back the money it would cost to buy that accessory. Sorry. BDM861 wants to know, do you think that an open world Pokemon game would be made for consoles? Uh, by open world, I mean you can go to all other regions and have the ability to literally catch them all. Uh, if Nintendo was going to do that, they would have done that by now. If if Game Freak had the ability to make a competent, uh, expansive console game, they probably would have done, done that by now. you got to understand, Game Freak is a pretty small studio, and their margins, like, the way that they produce those games and versus the profit they make off those games, uh, to actually get them to do a full-fledged console game is Probably not gonna happen. As much as it, as much as it'd be fucking amazing, I, I I just can't see it happening. Question from Badger Boy One Two Three Four wants to know what is the most overrated game. I don't know if you mean this year or ever. I would say the most overrated game this year pre-release was Destiny because everyone was going fucking crazy for Destiny and they actually got their hands on it and went, wait, there's not enough content here to, and then like the, the end game was all you know fucking just. Grinding all other good stuff, but most overrated of all time, dude. I couldn't even tell you. There is, there is, plenty of games that I've played that have been like, this is the most amazing thing in the world, and it just kind of, you know, seemed average. So I mean, it, it all comes down to personal taste.
Sonic2019 wants to know, will you be making new raps or a new gaming series? I have been completely slacking on my musical stuff. I've been trying to just crank out so much stuff for YouTube that I haven't written anything new in fucking like a year now. So I need to get back on that. Uh, I need to fucking just crack that whip, get that, get that brain going, um, and try to do something. I don't know. Uh, but as far as a new game series, uh, I, I have a couple in mind that, that I want to do, but, uh, most of those involve other people, so it's kind of like, do I have, like, do they have the, the time to sit down with me to do game stuff? Uh, in, in terms of stuff, but it's just me, uh, I do want to do a series where I try to go through every one of my PC digital games, but I know right now, trying to capture on, on my PC and get a good frame rate uh, for a lot of my games, it's just not gonna happen. Like, I need to build a new PC before that ever happens. So, uh, I could start it, like, with a lot of my indie games now, and it, and it would do okay, but, uh, I can't quite complete that series quite yet because, uh, I, I need a new PC. Joshua's Figure Land wants to know what game would you regret skipping on? Uh, m mostly role playing games. Uh, I would say most recently, Nino Kuni. Uh, which I've seen for as cheap as like seven or ten dollars. Uh, I keep seeing it and then thinking, man, that's like a 50 or 60 hour game. Or I go back and look at the Wii and look at Xenoblade, which, which I should, I should have bought new and then sold it because it fucking that price is just going up, 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 up. But Z Xenoblade is like a hundred hour game and it looks awesome. It looks amazing, but a hundred hours on one game for me, I just get burned out real easy. So yeah, I kind of regret not playing those. Uh, and I'll probably never get around to it, but, uh, they, they fucking look amazing, and, uh, I feel bad. Joe T wants to know Saints Row vs. GTA, which is better? Uh, I think, I think in 2014, those games are very, very different. Uh, if you, if you want to go back and, and compare them to when they were similar, like Saints Row 2 vs. GTA 4, then GTA was the better game. But when you get into, like, Saints Row 3 and 4 versus like, GTA 5, those experiences are so, so different now in terms of what you're actually doing in those games. So it's kind of hard to, it's, it, it really was originally kind of an apples to apples thing, and now it's like fucking apples and fucking like flying tanks and shit. So it got crazy. Decky X wants to know, how'd you get so sexy? Well, the beard helps. Kyle Watkins wants to know, what do you think of Smash Brothers as a series? I think there are two kinds of people who get into Smash Brothers. People who are hanging out at parties, and people who, who take that shit way, way too seriously. Like the fighting game hardcore dudes are fucking got nuts in that game. Now I am kind of in neither of those parties, so I think those games uh, are excellent in terms of the fan service, in terms of the content and everything else. I just never really enjoyed playing them, so I don't own any of them. But I could certainly respect uh, what they are doing. Following that up, Anthony Perks wants to know, are you going to do an episode of Pixels on Smash Brothers for Wii U? Yes, we are. Uh, and once again, it should be me and Grim and the Ninja Twins. Now, the Twins uh, wanted us to, do, to actually try to do 8-player, and I don't know that that would work in terms of how I record videos, because there'd be 8 fucking people in the room and that'd be just absolute goddamn chaos. But yes, that will happen looking at my preliminary schedule uh, that might air sometime in the, at the end of the month, I hope. The Decepticon wants to know if I'm an Autobot or a Decepticon. Choose wisely. Uh, last time I checked, I'm not a robot. And I can't transform, so that kind of rules me out from both categories. That leaves me as just a little dude on the ground getting smashed under the fucking foot. Armenia for Life 88 wants to know what upcoming games for the PS4 and Xbox One are you most excited for? Uh, on the PS4 side, Bloodborne is out February 6th. And as someone who played Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 and 2 and all the fucking DLC, I am super excited for Bloodborne, which is from the director and team who made Dark Souls 1, not 2, 1. Uh, that's fucking super exciting. Uh, on the Xbox One side, I'm looking forward to Below, which is going to be a roguelike, uh, game from Cappy, who did, uh, Super Time Force, and Critter Crunch, and a bunch of fucking great games. Richard Abbott, Mr. Handbrake Hand Release himself, wants to know, how do I feel about Valve being bad at math and not being able to count to three? Uh, my understanding 
is that one of the worst kept secrets in the game industry is that Left 4 Dead 3 totally exists and is happening. Uh, we just don't know when. It's Valve. It's Valve time. So uh, that might actually happen at some point. But as far as not getting a Half-Life 3, that sucks. Uh, I don't know that you really need a Portal 3. I mean, they kind of wrapped up, you know, that, that stuff. I really Having to, to go back to the well on that comedically m might not work. Uh, but yes... That cliffhanger at the end of Half-Life 2 Episode 2 fucking sucks, and uh, we need Half-Life 3. But the culture at Valve is just, you know, if, 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 if they don't want to work on it, they're not going to work on it. So, can't do much about it. Next question from a Sammy Pisoni who wants to know what would you do if video games were never made? Uh, I would be fucking, I don't know, just going out and being in the fresh air, and I don't fuck if I know. That sounds fucking... I'd be on the... That sounds... That's... Fuck, I don't know. That's depressing. L. Lolliet wants to know, what do you think of the future of the PS Vita? I think it's pretty dim. Uh, I think we're gonna, gonna get a handful of niche games from Japan, and a bunch of ports of indie games, and that's basically it. It's, it's, it's kind of depressing, because the Vita, uh, when it came out, like, that thing was an amazing piece of tech. But I felt like they crammed in maybe too much. They kind of went with the PS3 way of doing things, which is just kind of put, here's the fucking everything. And then uh, games felt the need at launch to use everything, and those games were not fun. Like that Uncharted game, not fun. Um, so I wish there were more quality beta games, but at this point, I'm getting the crazy Japanese games and the indie ports, and I am fine with that. Uh, cross buy is a great thing. Question from Philip Jurek, who wants to know what kind of game would I want to see made? I want to say this, I just answered this question, but maybe I didn't. Uh, I want to see more games like the, uh, the Death Report. Uh, I want to see more survival games. Uh, and not so much, f f not so much focusing on gunplay, but as actually having to survive. And not in the Minecraft sense, not in like the Rust or DayZ sense. I'm talking like you versus the environment sense. That's, to me, is super interesting. Evan Lambert wants to know, what is your dream video game? Uh, I think somebody, I don't care what company, needs to go to Japan, talk to Sin Sophia, who used to be Aki, give them as much money as they want, and have them make another goddamn wrestling game. Because they had the most fun wrestling games I've ever played in my life, and it's a damn shame that all they've been making the past couple of years are style-savvy fashion games. Let them make wrestling games, god damn it. Almost forgot, I'm sneaking this one in. Uh, big man Top Shot wanted to know my top 10 favorite games of all time on every system. Dude, that's like a four hour video. What are you, insane? And the last question from Harry Flynn who wants to know, would you like to see a WWE versus TNA video game? It depends on who's making it. If it's the same guys that are making the current WWE games or TNA games, no. If you can go back and give Aki that money, since Sophia, give them that, that money and have them do it, then yes, sure, that'd be fucking fantastic. Uh, but I want to say that Vince has gone on record saying that even if TNA went bankrupt, he would not buy them out because he, do, he does not see them as competition. So the chances of that ever happening, pretty slim. Although, you know, that's what we, uh, back in the mid-90s, would have said the same thing about WCW, and look what happened, so you never know. It could happen, but it might be, you know, years and years in the future. And that's going to do it for the question and answer for November of 2014. My voice is ah, shot. Uh, I've been sitting here talking for about 45 minutes. Uh, this is probably going to be a two-part video. i kind of, kind of, you know, get it all uh, hashed out today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed. So the plan is, there's never any plan. But I would assume if I say... I happen to hit 10,000, I would do another q and I guess that's the next goal here for, uh, for us to hit on this channel. So until then, I am usually available on uh, Twitter or YouTube. You know, if you've got gaming questions, technical questions, uh, that kind of thing, uh, I can answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, and I'm online uh, pretty often. So until then, until next time, this has been a tax slug. This has been the question and answer, uh, and fuck it, that, that's it, I'm out.